Hello Year One and welcome back to our English lessons. As you know by now we're doing Little Red Riding Hood and today we're going to think about what the characters might say. So in your pack you'll find a picture of a character with a big speech bubble next to it and we're going to think about writing a sentence in that speech bubble to decide what the character might say. Now each day this week I've read the story to you but I think today you can probably have a go at reading some of the story. If you're not sure of all of the words, that's absolutely fine. You can get somebody to help you or you can just retell the story as you go through using some of the keywords to help you and looking at the pictures as well. So what I will do is I will click through all of the different pages of the story. All you need to do is pause the video so that you can read the writing on that screen and then you can press play again so that you're ready for the next slide. So I'll click through. I won't read it this time. You have a go at reading through it. And that's the end of the story. So well done for giving it a go. Well done for telling the story. And hopefully you noticed all of the different characters that you came across in the story. See if you can count how many characters there are now. I think that there's four characters. Can you tell somebody in your house the four different characters that are part of your story. Remember, these are the people or the things that the, ha the story happened to. I think and there's Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter and the wolf that we can see on that picture there. And I think there's one other character. And I think if we click onto the next one, we can see her there. And that's grandmother. Now, you can also see there the picture of the character and the speech bubble. Now, you won't all have the same character, so it might not be the same as mine, but the same idea is gonna happen. You've got a character and you need to have a look at the character to decide who the character is, and then decide the sorts of things that that character might say. So pause the video here and have a think what my character might say. Little Red Riding Hood, what might she say? I think she might say, oh, granny, what big eyes you have. And so if I think that that's what she says, I can write it in that speech bubble. You could come up with any sentence that you think that your character would say, and then you're going to write it in the speech bubble. And I've made it a little bit easier for you because I've actually drawn the lines in for you. So it's easier for you to do your really nice, neat writing, making sure you've got your capital letters, your finger spaces, your full stop at the end, or maybe a question mark if it's a question, and making sure that you're using all of your phonics to think about the words. Don't worry if they're spelled correctly. Think about whether you've used your phonics to spell them so that somebody can work out what it says. And if you think, look at it and think, mm, that doesn't look quite right, then you can think about how to spell it correctly. But I'm looking for people who are having a really good go at doing this and really trying to use their phonics to be able to spell words. So have a go at that today. You're going to write a sentence to show what the character might say. You might have a little red riding hood. You might have a different character. When you've done it, you can pop it back in your pack and send it back to us next week when you pick up your new pack. Or you can send a photograph to my email address or you can pop it on our Facebook page so that we can see what you've been doing. It's the Key Stage 1 Home Learning Group that you can all join if you wish to. Enjoy your writing and hopefully you'll come up with some fabulous ideas. Well done, guys. Bye.